Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 2 of Let's Try Mighty Dungeons. Hope you guys are doing well. We are here in Mighty Dungeons, um, just chilling, ready to take on the next quest. I think our inventory is taken care of. Yep, we've got enough potions, um, plenty of weapons, I think. I don't know, do we need... Do we need more? We have 455 gold. We also have plenty of defense. Um, might want to repair like the throwing knives a little bit more. Um, I don't know. Uh, another 50. Boom. So 392. We'll probably keep that and head to the next quest in Lord Skeltor. So quest number two is going to be Mandrake the Translator. You have found the Book of Secrets. You now need to translate it. Only one man can do it, Mandrick the Magus. He lives with his daughter in the old Tower of the Ancients. Find Mandrick and ask him to translate the book. Let's do it. Give the book to Mandrick. Boom. Okay, so we immediately start against a gang bonus um, skelly. Let's go ahead and put on the dagger, actually. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to take a bit of a beating here. Eight gold. Because we're not using the spear anymore. So they're going to be able to hit us and stuff. Eight gold. So, hmm. I probably did not build our character right. We're going to use the throwing knives, I think. And drink a potion, a uh, large potion. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so... On the table, didn't contain anything. Let's open the door. Wait for the gobble to come down. Kruger him. Very good. 25 gold. Um. Ooh, there's a nice hit. I wish there was a way to read a combat log. That was like slowed down, but I guess this was meant to be a mobile game, so don't expect too many old school features. But this is very tastily old school for the uh, for the price. Cook boo definitely has some cool features. No gang bonus for you. Dropped 120 gold. Ooh gosh. You can tell, like, a real game is here, which I appreciate, after playing a, a game I won't name. Um, you guys didn't see it, I didn't make a video or anything, but... Contain a potion. Um, restores five, so let's restore five. And then restore five more. But, uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool dungeon crawler. Yum, yamars. I don't want to go for the headshot because I just don't have the accuracy to pull it off. Secret, um, chamber. Secret door. Or secret chair. Uh, skeleton dropped a weapon. A dagger. Nice. Ten uses of it. Very cool. The throne didn't contain anything. Oh, it's just a throne. Dungeon masters like to show off. Some of them have hidden compartments. Bookshelf. Um, inspect didn't contain anything, but there is a secret door. Oh, I didn't mean to go through it. Gang bonus? Dang. This could be bad. Um, drink 50 potion. Okay, he's dead. I didn't mean to go through the secret door. I just, well, I clicked it, so I guess I did mean to go through it. Chest with 1,500 gold and a large healing potion. Um, don't know if I want to open that door yet. Let's inspect it from this side. Nothing. I think secret door last time got us to the boss, which I wasn't ready for because my stamina was all the way down, but oh, it's the only way to go, actually. Okay. Can dig it. Let's, uh... Come in and go through the secret door. 
We've got just a regular skelly. Let's see what the arm does. Oh, I couldn't target it. Okay. Crowther is dead. Ten gold. And whoever that guy is, Tease Tezoth. A gargoyle with 20... F no, that's my... St no, those are his stats. We're going to go ahead and put on the spear. Drink a 50 potion. And attack again. Got him. He did not drop anything. Did he? What? Oh, I'm taking damage from that spelly cast. Okay, gargoyle. Um, throne didn't contain anything. Let's wait for our stamina to go back up. A little bit. No gang bonus for you, Orc. Whoa. Ugra dropped a weapon. Swift and precise bow. Light as a feather, but stings like a bee. Arrows are scarce. Use them cautiously. Pretty cool. A skeleton dropped a weapon. Eight dagger. So we have one bow shot. Let's drink uh, a couple 20 potions. Maybe one is enough. Library contained a spell of ice storm. Of course, we can't use it. It's not for us. Um, okay. We're fighting Traveran with huge stats. Huge. I don't even know if we can take him out with the, those stats. Um, let's also drink a 20 potion. Uh, do we have anything we can do something with? Book of Secrets. Um, okay, attack. Okay, we're okay. He used magic. He's down to 16. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna drink another potion. And, uh, smack him. Got him. Potion of Speed. Travaram dropped a potion. Increases the attack speed by 100%. You can make two times faster. You can attack two times faster for the following 30 seconds. Then we've got a zombie, which... We'll save the spear charges and with, a, with a throwing knife. Oh, he's kind of defensive, actually. He dropped 10 gold. Oh, and there's another floor to here. Weapon rack didn't contain anything. Or oh, there's another floor, it looks like. Stairs. These stairs can lead you to other parts of the dungeon. Inspect. Stairs didn't contain anything. Secret door. Uh, okay. Ooh dog. Goes down. Now we fight Wanabadook. Dang. Small healing potion. Taking a beating, that's for sure. How's our armor doing? Not too bad. Even with the armor, we're taking a beating. Let's drink uh, a 50. So far, so good, though. Pretty cool dungeon. It's big. The rod goes down. Ten gold. Huh, this is different. Let's go ahead and hit Skelly. Dropped a bow. Short bow. Six uses of it. Interesting. I wonder if that's preparing me for something to come. Entradol. A warrior. Um, uh, this is defense plus five, so... Let's equip it and... Should we drink the speed potion? We got him. Got him. Large healing potion. 
a zombie. We'll clean up the zombie with a spear. He's got a spear and he's tends to use it. Picked up a spear, five uses of it. Nice. Our stamina is low. More stairs. So let's let stamina recharge. Pretty wicked uh, dungeon thus far. Um, we should go ahead and drink a fifth, drink a fifty, I guess, or a twenty. I hope we can afford these again when we run out of what we've started with. Let's uh, equip the throwing knives. Hundred gold in the chest. stairs inspect them nothing in them secret door gang bonus dang dead and buff hug he's got pretty high stats 20 20 and 10 dropped a dagger um chest contained 550 gold and a large healing potion Go ahead and drink that large healing potion. We're doing well. I would hate to lose the dungeon now. Oh dear, there's another. Hmm, wait a minute. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and equip this short bow for you. No gang bonus. Alright, um, Shorpo takes a little bit of stamina to use. Is this enough to take this guy down? I would probably equip the spear. And poke. Oh dang, he's even tougher. Drink a 50. What is all this? Ten body points, ten defense point damage for 30 seconds. That's why he cast that. Right. Man, our spear's getting the job done. Let's drink a 20. And poke him. Got him. 280 gold from Kirion. A skeleton with a battle axe. Get him with our throwing knives. He had one gold. Another skeleton trying to jump me. He had four gold. Throne didn't contain anything. This dungeon continues to go on. We better get our stamina back. That's an issue. Before we mess around and get ourselves killed. <clears throat> Pretty cool dungeon. This is the second dungeon in the game, guys. That's not bad. I mean... I can imagine these dungeons get pretty amazing, honestly. If this is if this is the second dungeon, then I imagine they get pretty wickedly cool. It's already wickedly cool. But I imagine they even open up more. Maybe get a bit more open, like, just with more secrets and stuff. But, yeah, I'm sure it gets pretty crazy. Oh, look at this. Do we... Um... Talia. Hello, I'm Mandrick's daughter. You are coming to see my father, I suppose. He is here and transformed into a woman again. Really? Fireplace contains 17 gold. Don't know if I should be going through his stuff. Library contains 59 gold. Um... Oh, oh, la! I was expecting you! Thank you for cleansing this tower of its wandering creatures. Give me the book and I will translate it for you. Give. Uh, okay. Oh la! Wait. Mission completed. Give the book to Mandrick. Completed the dungeon. You can choose to leave and go back or stay. We'll stay. And just see if there's anything else. No... Nope. Okay, so menu. Uh, return to village. Boom. Episode 2 done. 2700 gold. 
We killed one gargoyle and it doesn't. Oh yeah, three of those warriors. Oh cool, we can click them and see what they were. Weapons used. Armors and pets used. Potions used. Wow. Objects inspected. Very cool. Very cool. Hero quest. Complete one quest. We got another uh, point. Which I don't think we can upgrade our hero with yet. We have... We need to kill like 50 goblins. Do all this other stuff. There's a ton probably. Yeah. I'm not going to look at all of them. But we have two points. We can almost upgrade like... These three point ones. If I wait till seven, I can use magic. So that'd be pretty cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, oops. See what the next quest is. It is... The Ruins of Ramus have been raided by a detachment of Skeletor's troops. They are led by Vargas. He is preparing a battle plan against the City of the Elves. You must kill Vargas and put your hands on the plan. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can shop for. Yeah, see, these potions are pretty expensive. Good thing we start with quite a stash of them. I mean, look at these prices. Spells we can't use. Um, let's see what our inventory is. Armor's holding up okay. How much would they give us for the speed potion? Wow. 5,200 for the speed potion. I knew it would be a lot. 1,500 for these potions of regen. Let's sell Ice Storm. We can't use it. Even though it only takes one magic, we can always rebuy it. Um, the bow goes for 4,300. Okay, let's see what we can... First, maybe... Well... I think we have plenty of uses. Maybe the bow. Yes, the arrows are rare. 350 for 10 more. Um... I will, though. Let's go to the shop. I'm not sure if I should have did that. Well, the bow is better than a short sword, which is 350. It's better than a staff. It's about a double six. Oh, see, there is a sort of... Cannot use with a shield. Cannot use with a shield. So there is kind of blunt and slashing. That's the difference between these two, so... Against skeletons, obviously, I should equip something blunt. You know, that type of deal. Um, head... Great Helm offers three defense, and it's 1,500. Chainmail, minus two attack, but five defense. Heavy and clunky, but useful in combat, even against strong weapons. Um, do we have a shield? We do not have a shield. We do not have gauntlets. Wait, those are gauntlets and whatever. Oh, that's a pet. Dang, let's look at the pets then. Um, check that out. There's arms. We do not have arms. <laughs> I mean, we have arms, but... Pets. Fire demon, 10,000, right? And toolkits, we have 22 of. Definitely have to save up and get this pet. That's 30 attack, 10 defense. But for now, I guess we'll buy, like... These are so good. Lightweight but stiff makes it hard to handle weapons, especially bows or knives. That may play into it. Covers your arms, doesn't make it easy to handle weapons, but you can block enemy strikes. Shield helps defend yourself while leaving enough room for attack. Large bulky but the dwarf can fit entirely behind it. Good defense but weak attack. Um. Not sold on that. Kind of keeping a, a light build, pretty much. The Great Helm, I think, is worth it. Protects against the strongest attacks. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And, um... Go ahead and equip.
equip it. It's got 300 durability. And I uh, pretty much can sell this for 418. One metal helmet, yep, sell. Um, so our defense is 15, our attack is 25. That's not terrible. Um, if we were to sell the spears, or the spear, it would be hard to find something as good as it for the price. Longsword is nice, but... Mm, I mean, double short swords, it's not as defensive or offensive as the spear. It's cheaper. Um... I don't get will increase the speed of attack. Hmm, so I guess there's a way to speed the attack. I'll have to look into that. Maybe there's a little bit more to combat than I've kind of explored thus far. But, um, throwing knives have a nice three defense, which I appreciate. Um... I'm gonna save the rest of the money, I think go ahead and head to the next quest. Let's see how long we've been playing. 20 minutes only. We can probably get into this next one. So we must kill Vargas and put our hands on the plan. Let's see how it goes. Find the battle plans. Find and kill Vargas. Got a skelly. So let's see how we do this. There's just an attack button. Um, wow. Hit the head. For an insta-kill. I thought maybe percentage was like not only the uh, attempt percentage, but maybe how much of your action point you're using or something. Trap disarmed. Oh, spiders. Rujabu, he has a name. Giant spider. Missed. Missed again. Hit him in the head. Missed. There we go. 250 gold. Gotta be careful with them. Um, is this in the legs? I don't know what legs did. Kind of prolonged his turn or something? Oh, knock down. Okay, knock down his attack and defense. Knocked it down even further. Interesting. Okay, there is more to this then. Goblin. Hit in the legs. Boom. Okay. Let's come in, check the... Uh, I don't know what that does yet. 11 gold. Let's come down here, though. Um, what if I hit in the arms? Hit left arm. Whoa, that really knocks his attack down. And did good damage. So I've probably used all those potions by not playing combat properly. <laughs> But I think we can make up for it. This dungeon already seems awesome. Skeletons, you definitely want to hit the arm. 10 gold. Zombies, I think you want to hit the arm or the leg. Or what's this arm? Knocks down the attack a bit. That arm knocks down the attack a bit and then... Hit him in the middle. Okay, we've got a chest in this room. Large healing potion. Love it. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this dungeon so far. This is awesome. Obviously, if you miss... You can pay for it a little bit.
chum. Did not do a lot of damage there. Dropped a dagger. Oh, we could try the dagger as well. Let's see if that does make some sort of speed difference. It looks like it's just turn-based. Miss. I don't know. I don't think there's any physical speed in terms of me doing it. Oh, throwing knives. Fast and precise when you know how to use them. Um, I don't know how the how the speed works in turn based, but we're gonna have to drink a, a potion. Uh, a Yagi is a Fimir. Has a little bit of magic. Hmm. Probably want to hit that big old warhammer. Oh, I missed. There's a hit. That knocks him down to size. Missed again. There's a hit. Oh, pretty smart AI. He got down to one attack. He hit me with a... with a spell. Huh, I guess I was shanking him. I don't know if I was blocking or if those were quick attacks in succession. Sort of played out in a turn-based way. Silug, look at that attack for that orc. Hit him in his arm. This, ouch. Okay. Playing with fire a bit here. I don't know. Not really sold on the dagger. 850 gold. Small healing potion. Um. I don't know. Did I. Did me clicking there fast, like, make a difference in terms of. You know, how many attacks I got in with the dagger? It seemed to, but. I'm not quite sure. Let's try it again. Uh, no, it seems to just be one and done, but dagger's working pretty good, but these, I would think... Oh, we don't have many throwing knives left. What happened? See, that seemed like I clicked fast and it did, you know, but did not seem to, uh, it just seems that way. <clears throat> this is weird, but I imagine we may go there some other time, like, in the adventure. Bookshelf contained 49 gold. Ten gold. These orcs are tougher than it seems. They're knocking nine off you each time. Jogug. Now he's down to ten. Attack. Nine gold. Small healing potion. Three hundred fifty gold. All right. Got some doors back here even. Oh, gargoyle. Missed. <sighs> and stamina is a thing, too. Now I can just try to brute force him. Well, Earth. Quickly running out of potions. We 
might not have enough for this dungeon. Two, we can get it, follow him up with a dagger. It's that serious. 100 gold. Weapon racks. Nice. Nothing. And a lot. Ooh, a long sword. 20 uses. Heavy but strong sword. Suitable for hardcore slashing of flesh. Makes it harder to defend oneself. Use to store weapons, shields, and other armors. If you look closely, you may find cool stuff in there. Nice. That certainly helps. Um, we're down to 13 throwing knives, bruh. And we're only on the first floor. Um... Small healing potion, Turge. Um... Am I back to a dagger again? Yeah. I don't know, sometimes it seems good. Like I seem to... That tink, it goes tink when it's their turn. To try and hit me. I don't know if it's... Being successful or what. Now that's tinking and... Doing damage. Let me try the orc. Hit him in his arm. See, he's attacking me after I attack. Um, I don't know. I guess that's a speedy attack. 19 gold. I don't know. Fun stuff, though. Library contained an item. These are the battle plans to attack the city of the elves. Congratulations, you complete, completed the mission find the battle plans. I wonder if we return to... Uh, town now, or the village. If we'll get a mission success and be able to come back and do... Uh, kill Vargas separately. Or if they both need to be done. So many questions. Oh snap. That looks like Vargas in there. Well, that's a dog. Eight gold. Hmm. Durothil. Pretty tough guy. Uh, hit him in the legs. Legs again. Ah, he hit me with magic. Legs again. See, that's taking it right down to 15. Which is nice. He's gonna keep casting, though. Hmm. I'm gonna aim for the head now. He's only doing one damage. Okay, five. Hmm. Should probably... I'm kind of liking the dagger, though. Missed. He's down to five. He's down to one. Now he's just a sitting duck. Boom. Got three uses of a spear. What is that? Oh, that's Vargas. He's a two-headed hellhound. With 35 attack. Okay. Well. We can bust out the short bow. Shoot the legs. Missed. Shoot the legs. Miss. Don't miss, bro. Hit that 70%. There we go. Hit him again. Drink a 50. Hit those legs again. There we go. And 100. Vargas Canadian. 150 gold and a potion of regen. This is the ultimate healing potion. Whoever drinks it will completely recover all lost body parts. Vargas is killed. You completed the dungeon. We're going to stay, of course. Because there's a room full of possible treasure. Uh, we'll finish you off with a dagger. Um, nothing in the library. Nothing on the table. So that would be it. Are there more secrets that, uh, exist in the game world? Possibly. I don't know, 
you know, the hard and fast rule on that. It seems like some of these empty spaces here would possibly be, you know, possible doors, but, and this seems very weird, but I don't know. I guess we'd be able to inspect it if there was a secret, so turn to village, leave, boom. Pretty simple one, no secret doors in that one. We used a lot of dagger, a lot of throwing knives. Our armor got hit a lot. Used a bunch of potions. Two traps disarmed, 2,500 gold. I guess we can complete them again for more for um just for fun and more grinding basically you can repeat story missions completed the quest got one point oh it's saying do we want to use our points to upgrade um no i kind of want to save for magic so pretty cool game thus far Definitely has sort of a long-term appeal. Where you want to keep kind of going one dungeon further, seeing the next one, fighting the next combat. I'm, I'm sure there's more to the speed and stuff of weapons than I've been able to show thus far. So that's a thing. Um, you know, there's pets. We'll eventually get involved. Bunch of potions, sorry. Um, so yeah, uh, it's probably time to wrap this up. Just in a bit. Not sure what to buy, if maybe I should be more concerned about repairing the stuff I do have. Like the spear. Oh, 32 is enough spear, but 13 is not enough throwing daggers. Look how cheap they are to repair. Um, dagger I probably want to repair too, because I was using it to pretty good effect. Just get a ton of dagger. Um, bow, too expensive to repair. Longsword we didn't even use. It's repair is crazy. Let's um, look into other ways to gain defense. Shield. Um, I'll take a round wooden shield. We don't have one, right? Okay. And I know I should be saving my money, but I kind of want the gauntlets too. They're lightweight. They are stiff, but they're lightweight, so it works for us. Boom. So we've got those equipped. All we're missing is a pet now. That's our gear equipped thus far. Pretty cool. Um, let's see what the next quest is. We're halfway. Well, this keeps going. Oh, it says eight quests. Okay. It's quest number four. The hostage, Talia, daughter of Mandrick, has been abducted in retaliation for her father's involvement with the Book of Secrets. Find Talia in these sleazy dungeons and show no mercy to all the creatures that you see. Cool. So we'll go ahead and jump into that next time. But uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this foray into this fun um, CRPG with some cool uh, features. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll join me next time for more. Uh, we can now use the chest, but it's really for transferring between characters, whereas we kind of just have one character. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all. Uh, much love, peace, and joy. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever it may be. Mighty Dungeons or anything else. See you guys then. Bye-bye.